bicycles meant to get you from point A to point B for a small fee sit dormant in the frigid downtown air. But could they be parked permanently and the COGO program shut down now that Bixie, the company that supplies the bikes, is facing bankruptcy? It's a question I took to Columbus Recreation and Parks Director Alan McKnight. Alan, what does this bankruptcy mean to the city of Columbus and its bike share program? Well, I don't think the user today will see any difference at all. Uh, our contract is actually with Alta, who uh, acquired the bikes uh, for the city and manages the system. Uh, we've talked with Alta. They're, of course, following the situation. Columbus has a $2.3 million five-year contract with Alta Bicycle Share. McKnight says in the months since COGO launched, they've experienced no issues with the software program, and the city owns all the bikes outright. So far, 70% of COGO customers are DayPass users. More than 800 annual memberships have been sold, and it's generated $135,000 in revenue well within the first year projections. But if the program does struggle, will city leaders bail it out with taxpayer funds? McKnight hopes to avoid that by finding a long-term presenting sponsor who would provide 50% of all revenue, a task Ulta Bike Share is contractually obligated to get. We all know that it doesn't survive solely on the fee that the riders pay. And they're working on some programs to, to do that. We're assisting and, and helping to, to talk about the value of the system as we go through that. So we don't believe it's going to be necessary.